What's going on YouTube? Vinny, the greatest of all Texas. I'm about to unbox that 200 watt solar blanket made by Lensun. Got it off Amazon. Test it out with my EB70 Blue Yeti solar generator. So stay tuned, check it out. Check me out on Instagram, greatest of all Texas. Check out my Etsy shop, greatest of all Texas for patches and merchandise. Just want to unbox this. I already opened the top of it. Show you that it comes packaged really good foam. Didn't see any damages on the box. This is a 200 watt solar blanket made by Lensun. If you open this pouch right here, see what's inside. Have a little uh, pamphlet that kind of shows you your solar layout, how you can connect it with another one. If you want to combine two of these, get 400 watts. And it gives you like an additional information on lithium battery connection, AGM battery, multiple solar panels combined, inverter. Shows you which solar generators you can use. It has different adapters inside of it. You got a 7.9, 5.6 millimeter, Anderson, a 5.5 to 2.1 millimeter, and a 3.5 to 1.35 millimeter with your cable. It's a 200 watt solar panel. It's 22.4 inches wide and 21.6 inches long. So pretty, uh, pretty compact for how much power you're gonna. Get. I could even hook this up to my um, solar controller in the FJ and power my battery. That's all that comes inside there. And on the back right there, that's the leg. It kicks out so that you could stand it up once you deploy it like that. It has a nice uh, holding handle. So that way, when you're taking it out, you easily can grip it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. So I already snapped open the little latches, and then from there, you just open up this top part. Make sure when you open it up, you wanna make sure you have these legs, these kickstand legs open to where you can prop them the right way. Earlier, I opened it up backwards. Now, this is where you're gonna prop open the back. Here I have a 7.9, 5.6 millimeter that I put as an adapter that comes with the lens and solar panel and I'm connecting it to my Blue Yeti EB70. See how much juice we're getting in. Sun's just rising and we're bringing in 63, now 81 watt. And we'll see, that's actually really good because typically this early in the morning, it's around 8.57. So the sun's not even up all the way. It's gonna continue to get up higher. We're gonna get more power. In case you don't wanna put your solar panel on the ground, you know, it may be very wet, maybe dirty, bad conditions, not very flat. This is an option how to use your solar blanket. I I use some zip ties to my uh, Big Country 4x4 roof rack. So you're here to the bottle opener. And then I do have these eye bolts that you can put on the bottom track. As you can see, I used one right there. Just connect some cheap zip ties. I mean, carabiners would look a lot better, but I mean, this is super easy, simple. Just cut it, have a lot more, it costs like pennies. So that way I can lift the solar panel off the ground and have it to my roof rack. And when the sun changes, just cut those and then I'll put it on top of the roof rack. And then I'll run, I ran the cable through the window and I'll show you how much power we're getting right now. So that's where I put my Blue Yeti EB70. So right now it's 9:10. The solar panel has been connected for about 11 minutes. So we're gonna see how long it'll take to charge this today. And this is a 700 watt hour solar generator from Blue Yeti. So I'm pulling 107 watts right now, 108. This can get up to 200 watt max intake. So we'll see if we can reach that. We'll check back in later and show you the progress. And when the sun changes, we're gonna move the uh, solar panel to the roof and just show you how you can use this solar blanket in different sun positions. Stay tuned. I don't know if you can see that's 1205. Solar panel has been charging on the side of the FJ for about since eight o'clock, three hours. You can see it's not getting direct sunlight. I'm gonna want to go ahead and shift that to put the uh, solar panel right on the roof. So we'll look in here and check it out. So see, we're pulling 36 watts, it's been three hours. We're at 40%. So if you look right now, I just moved the solar panel to the top of the roof rack, my big country 4x4 roof rack on the FJ Cruiser. I now went from 30 something watts to 100 watts. And as the sun continues to be directly over the FJ, 
it could go up even higher um, we're trying to see how much we can get and just basically the goal is to finish uh, charging up this blue Yeti EB70 solar generator so if you look up here 200 watt lens Sun solar panel stretched out which I mean if you wanted to you could mount this on the top of the FJ cruiser this big country 4x4 roof rack goes from the front all the way to the back of the FJ so it's gonna you know you could use these little points right here and do some zip ties if you wanted to keep it up there or just when you're not at camp have it up there it is already 350 in the afternoon we're at 88 watts going in I'm gonna take this off to see how much we're at right now oh wow we're at 80 percent and that's been going since eight o'clock so it's eight to 350 seven hours and we're at 80 percent put that back in and see it'll start charging and tell me how much we're getting in so it was at 88 watts earlier but it just ranges there you go 87 so right now I just want to show you pass through charging. It's pulling 49 watts from the fridge, but we're bringing in 108 watts solar. So it's not going to actually be taking any power from the Blue Yeti and still charging it while it's powering this fridge. And just you just need to remember that the fridge does not always consume that much watts. It consumed about 20 watt hours a day with a couple of opening in the in the hot FJ Cruiser in the back. It's pulling some wattage right now. I know once it reaches a temperature, it won't be pulling that many watts 51 bringing in 107 from the 200 watt lens sun solar blanket right out there just giving you a little example of how you can use this to power your fridge in the back of your rig I use this method and I also use hood panel to my group 31 battery as another source too which that's another video so check that one out I think that the overall test went well trying to use a 200 watt solar blanket made by Lensun to power my EB70 solar generator made by Blue Yeti and it is effective it's not very large it can easily be put in my drawer system and I can also put it in like one of my storage cases on the roof rack and the reason why I think you would need a solar blanket is that if you are going out to the beach you're going out to camp road trip overlanding whenever you get to your destination and you want to recharge your solar generator or any other electronic devices that may need to be recharged or even top off your battery I think that the solar blanket 200 watt is gonna help do that and it works well because it's gonna get you more power to charge it faster right now I'm just kind of displaying how this fridge an ARB 47 quart is being powered by the blue Yeti EB 70 which has pass-through charging so I inputted the solar panel which is right out there next to the FJ and and as I don't know if you can see that but it's bringing in 104 watt and we're outputting 43 watts to the fridge now the fridge isn't always gonna need that much power eventually it will um, turn itself off but right now that's just a little example of how I'll use it I do really like having a solar deployed blanket because it just allows you to capture the Sun's energy at different times of the day or maybe in different areas that you're at. The hood solar panel is another good option just because you don't have to worry about packing that solar panel or getting it out. It's a more permanent solution for my vehicle's battery system. And then the solar blankets are for when I wanna get more energy for my solar generator. So that was just a little video. I wanted to show you how I was uh, testing it out throughout the day. And you're always gonna get different amount of solar intake depending on how where the sun is at, the position. Being out here in the sunshine state, it gives me a better opportunity to test out this gear. Even if I'm back in Texas, there's a lot of sun there too.